Today we're going to talk about Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. It's a dark paranormal romance series. And if you're wondering why I chose it, it's not because of the quality of the work, but because she knows her audience so well. Stay tuned and you'll see what I mean. There. I'm Devlin Blake, writing and creativity coach who helps you get the best life by writing your best book. Welcome to BookBeat, where I review and analyze books and occasionally some book-related products or movies to show you what makes them great or not so great. Let's get started. Twilight is the story of a human, Bella, and her love triangle between two different supernaturals, a vampire and a werewolf. Now, I'm going to say up front, I did not like Twilight. I didn't even get all the way through the first book. I normally don't say bad things about books, but in this case I can, because nothing I say is going to alter her book sales in the slightest. But there's a reason I didn't like this book. It wasn't written for me. By that, I mean I'm not her target audience by a long shot. Her target audience was 16-year-old girls, and I'm way older than 16. But saying your book is for 16-year-old girls is more than just a demographic. Twilight appeals to a certain psychographic of 16-year-old girls. Specifically, it appeals to ones who are feeling lost and want to be saved by someone other than themselves. Bella was lost and was saved through Edward's love. At various points in our life, we all feel lost and want to be saved. This is what brings up the psychographic. High school is a rough time in anyone's life, but it's particularly rough if you're a girl. Many teen girls commit suicide before they're able to graduate and understand that high school doesn't define them for the rest of their lives. The psychographics that Twilight appeals to is the the one of feeling broken. When you're a high school girl, you often feel broken. You have fantasies of someone cool coming to your rescue and making you worthy and cool by way of his love. That's exactly what Twilight did. Through Edward's love, Bella went from broken to healed. Now, real life doesn't work that way, of course, but books do, and we want to believe in that fantasy. This book was able to fill vicariously a need for millions of teen girls who felt lost and alone. Through the saga of Bella and Edward, they themselves became whole and held on to the future of a better tomorrow, even though they know vampires aren't real and Edward's not really coming. So it doesn't really matter if I liked it or not. This book resonated deeply with her target market, and that's really all that matters. That's really all that any book can do. I was already an adult when I read the first half of the first book. However, I remember what it was like to feel broken and depressed as a 16-year-old girl. That was me. There's a chance if I'd read it then, it might have been one of my favorite books. Well, that's about it for now. Be sure to subscribe for more great reviews and book writing tips. If you'd rather read a story, then check out my other reviews and my two-sentence stories. See you next time!